Hey, welcome to this tutorial on how to assign an e-sheet to your students. So the first thing we did whenever we came in, um, you know, you, it had you automatically create a class and then ask you to create an e-sheet. And so now if I were to try to go back to this class here, it would recognize that, oh wait, there's a couple things, you know, I don't have any e-sheets assigned to this class or maybe I could create a new one. So it tries to help you. And um, we do have one e-sheet that is already there. And so if I click on a couple different things here on the dashboard. So these are my e-sheets. If I click here, that'll just let me allow me to edit it. We'll talk more about monitoring later. I can assign and unassign this e-sheet. And up here in the top right, I can rename it. I can force all my students to turn in that have been assigned this. It'll force them to turn in, take away all their retries, and grade it. I could regrade, so if I make a mistake, whenever the grading process happens, I, I say I messed up the answer. On one of them, I go back, change the answer, click regrade all students. This Anything done to an e-sheet at the dashboard level does it for all students that uh, are assigned that e-sheet, so every class. Now, when I'm inside of a classroom and I do something to an e-sheet, it does it just for that classroom, so if that makes sense. I could change the number of retries. I can hand grade this, which we'll talk more about. I can lock this e-sheet, which means students can still see it. They just can't do anything to it. And I could share this to teachers that are also in duck soup by their email. Or I could delete this e-sheet. So go in um, and assign. So there's a couple different ways you can assign. Up here in this tab, e-sheets, I could create or assign. So this, this assign here, if I were here, I would have all my e-sheets and I just click the ones I want to assign. Or if I'm back here on the dashboard and I click assign, unassign, then it automatically checks that one and only brings in the one that I want. So that's what I went ahead and did. It's already checked. I can assign, unassign, assign. I would go through and pick every class I want to assign it to, right? And then click assign. So now when I go back to that class, it doesn't give me the signal that, uh, it does not give me the signal to assign a class, assign anything to it, because it's already assigned. Now, let's talk about students real quick. So, once I get here, you'll notice that whenever I came to this, it automatically alerted me that I don't have any students. Here's the class code. So, again, there's the class code. Anytime I click and I'm inside of a period or inside of a class, the class code is always right here. If I click it, I could reset that and change the class code to something else, whatever I want. And so um, once that class code is changed, then that's the code that I give to the students. If you have any problems, just feel free to email me at support at ducksuit.us. Thank you.